Hello there and welcome to today's video. It's been a little while hasn't it? Um, it's uh, yeah, certainly been a few weeks since I've uploaded a video which uh, never feels very nice I have to say you know I really love my um, YouTube community and keeping up with everybody here so yeah it's nice to be back. We had a week away actually which was really nice uh, by the seaside and we've not actually been away since before you know the big sea so yeah it was really nice to get away I have to say but um, I'm still struggling however with nerve pain so yeah it's uh, a bit frustrating as an artist you know you need your hands but I've been having issues with um, I think it's called the ulnar nerve on both sides and it's the nerve that's in your ring finger and your little finger and it basically connects you you know to your, your shoulders so I've um, yeah got a lot of kind of pins and needles and pain going on so I'm booked in with the physio next week so hopefully we can develop you know a bit of an exercise plan because rest in itself doesn't seem to be working and also I've got some problems with my thumbs and they did check for arthritis and thankfully um, it's neither osteo or uh, rheumatoid arthritis which is good news so hopefully they'll be able to you know recommend some stuff for that as well. Getting old sucks doesn't it you know I don't mind you know the idea of getting old it's something that we all have to do <laughs> it's just everything that goes wrong along the way that I'm really struggling with you know I just want things to work and when they don't it's yeah a bit demoralizing but yeah we'll see how we, we get on with that I think. Anyway today I'm going to show you how I made a model um, a little while ago now I've just kept hold of the footage for some reason and you know not done anything with it but it's a, the character Kendall from Succession and gosh it's such a brilliant TV show and it's um, it's something that we caught up with fairly recently actually I know it's been on um, you know for a few years and it's, it's actually come to a, an end now but we binged watched it earlier this year and really loved it so yeah I just thought I'd make the character Kendall so let me show you how I made him so I'm gonna start on Kendall's head and I've got a bit of a confession to make with this one because um, when I started this project he wasn't intended to be Kendall at all um, I was um, hoping to make uh, cousin Greg <laughs> from Succession but for whatever reason as I was making him I thought oh, gosh there's no likeness here at all I don't know why and he's starting to look uncannily like Kendall which is um, it's really odd isn't it considering they're both in the same program and I wouldn't say that the actors look alike at all but I don't know there's something about their facial structure that's yeah kind of um, resembles each other so it was really interesting a process I have to say so at this stage I decided to give him brown eyes instead of blue and yeah just went with it I had intended to, to make cousin Greg and Tom actually um, as the disgusting brothers as you'll know if you've um, seen Succession so I've finished his face now and I can work on his body so I'm going to start on his uh, his feet and his legs. So I'd say actually that Tom and Greg are my favourite characters because they've just got so <laughs> such a chemistry between the two of them and I think that's why I'm most sad that the the programs come to an end actually it got to the point where I wasn't really that interested in who was gonna take over I was really interested to see their characters kind of develop further really so yeah I felt really sad that we you know wouldn't get to see any more of their antics really I'd love to see a sequel of the two but you know that's uh, that's just great telly isn't it you know they know when to come to an end instead of going on for years and years when you know you kind of eye roll at another season when it comes out so yeah I just really liked it and I'd really recommend Succession actually if you've you've not seen it already 
It's obviously really inspired by, you know, the likes of the, the Murdoch Empire and just goes to show the shenanigans that go on behind the scenes, really, in these kinds of companies. All about money and power, isn't it? So anyway, I'm now going to work on Kendall's arms. So I'm going to see these come together, hopefully. And in case you didn't know, I kind of bake my models as I go on. So at this point, his head's baked and his legs. So basically his body's the only soft parts. You know, it's just easier to, to make models that way for me, certainly. I know some artists like to, to make the model in one go, particularly if they're not working with coloured clay. But for me, it kind of, you know, just works better this way, really. And it's probably more difficult actually making it this way, but it's just the way I've, I've come to know, really. So to make Kendall look more like Kendall, I'm gonna give him a kind of baseball cap. So let's just pop that on. And I think he's really come together now. So I'll bake it for the final time. And here he is, all done on my pop culture shelf. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was really nice to make a model for a change actually because I don't make too many models these days. I tend to focus more on polymer clay paintings um, just because I, I like the process a bit more. There tends to be a bit more freedom involved creatively so I, I tend to be more kind of drawn to those projects, certainly recently anyway, but it's just good to keep your hand in various pots, isn't it? You know, it's um, a skill that obviously I don't want to lose so yeah I need to make more models basically. Oh and while I'm talking about model making I had a photograph sent to me recently uh, from Jill of her wedding cake topper and um, I'll just show you here it's just brilliant I'm really enjoying seeing your creations um, based on my tutorials and if you've not seen my wedding cake topper tutorial um, well the four parts of it and you'd like to make one, I'll link that below. But I, I just love seeing what you're coming up with. This is such an amazing piece of work and it's no mean feat making a wedding cake topper. I can assure you it's a whole lot of work involved. So congratulations, Jill. You should be super proud of it. I think it worked out brilliantly. So I think that's it for today. Other than to say, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make any Halloween themed tutorials this year which is um, a bit heartbreaking really because I really enjoy working on Halloween themed projects as you will well know by now so yeah it's something I've been looking forward to but I guess we'll see how we get on really. Um, I have plans to make some um, polymer paintings but again I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them or not I guess we'll just need to see so yeah sorry about that but I'll link below to my playlist where I've got loads of Halloween stuff on there so if you fancy making a spooky project or two um, go and check those out so thanks for watching and um, I'll just show you some footage actually that um, Ian uh, recorded while we were away. Um, I did make the conscious decision not to vlog while we were away because, you know, I was just trying to take a break. But um, yeah, if you want to see Jean-Paul at the seaside, here you go.